Hey, what's up, guys? It is DJ. Today, we've got 85 mods on the testing list. PAX East is in two weeks. And we got six modders to talk about, including the return of Casarius Modding. Check it out. Starting off with the mods and testing, today we've got 85 mods on the list, 19 are in stage 1 or PC testing, which means 66 mods in console testing. Oh, yeah. Some notable mods on the PC list include the Kvernalin Viking iExtract T4, two console mods on the PC list, or the German Fire Brigade and the German Police Station. Back to the PC testing, we have the Class Axian 900 TT, Millennial Farm Shed Pack, finally on the testing list, Pack of Road Barriers, the New Holland T5 Auto Command, and the Big Bud Pack. Back in testing. Jumping down to the rest of our console mods in testing, we have a few like the Small Corn Dryer, Kinsey Multi Fruit Planter Pack, 1075C, and Anywhere Object Storage. Also in console testing, we have the Wood Shipping Container, Southern Black Forest, Mars the Mission, Homemade Blinds, Build Edge Marker, and Assortment of Fillable Pallets. Rounding out that console list, we have Tree Trunk Fences, John Deere Gator Pack, Lizard Dumper Road Train, Lawn and Firewood Customers, and Shopping Cart. With all that being said, we still have 260 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods, about 14 work days. That's almost three weeks. The next event in the United States that Giant Software will be attending is PAX East in Boston, Massachusetts in two weeks. That's going to be March 21st through the 24th. Community coordinator Kermit will be there alongside a few content creators, including myself, Farmer Cop, Clutch Simulations, Jababa, oh yeah, Farmer Klein, and a few others. Make sure you drop by and say, what up, dude? If you're in the area, we would love to meet you. Jumping over to Modern News, Slusha's Modding drops more information on their John Deere Riding Lawnmower, aka the John Deere 445 that we saw for the first time about two weeks ago. They say that the mod pack is ready to be sent off for testing, and we can see in the pictures tractor itself, mower deck, bagger, front loader, front weight, front blade, rear weight, and what looks to be a plow in addition to some color options and maybe a few customization options here or there. Usually when Slusha's modding teases something, it's ready within a few days, but this one took a couple weeks. They work faster than almost anyone that I know on Mod Hub, and I'm super pumped to see this one heading our way. Next up, Pepe. 978 dropped a teaser video for his New Holland TK, including the 490, the 4100, and the 4110. The video shows the tractor in the vineyards completing its primary function as a vineyard tractor. It's very similar to the one that we have in base game, but with tons of customization options. Check out that video if you haven't seen it already. Staying on tractors, Ada Modding has their Schluter 2500 Turbo in the store, showing us all of the options that it will feature, including power of 240 horsepower, 280 horsepower, unrealistic power of 500 or 1000 horsepower. Let's go. Lots of tire brands and styles, four beacon options, decorative GPS, main color, rims, precision farming sport, and an animated door. We'll also have quite a few new features in addition to the ones we had back in 19, and way more than we saw in 15 and 17. Ada Monning says that the mod should be ready to be sent to Giants soon. Next, Casarius Monning are back with us for the first time since November to show off more progress on their MacDon headers, more specifically the 97X CIH. 2062 Draper series. The first model to come in the set will be the 36 foot Magdon 974 Flex Draper alongside their Case IH 2062 36 foot. Currently, the 3D model is about 80% done, and Xeria says that they are being made for all platforms. But as far as I know, Giant Software does not own the license for Magdon for Farms from 22, or we would have seen some already. I would expect to see these as Lizard on console. And yes, I remember Giant Software sharing the video teasing the new Holland CR11 and the Magdon headers back in November to celebrate Agri Technica. However, in the past, the equipment that they shared for Agri Technica was always released with the next game. So. That's what I expect to see here as well. Moving on, JHHG and Sid Monning are back with their fourth and final Teagle collaboration, the Tomahawk C120 Calibrator. This bell processor essentially does what other bell processors do in the game. They take straw bells and turn them into loose straw. However, this machine in real life is used by large scale farms and contractors to make massive piles of straw in a short amount of time. So if you're playing realistically, this may be a piece of equipment that you want to use. JHHG and Sid Monning have both made it as realistic as possible by working with Teagle directly, they'll know to make it perfect. The only issue that I have is all three previous Teagle mods were released for PC only nothing on consoles come on guys i was hoping to have this final mod on consoles as well but uh i don't know i guess we'll wait and see another licensing issue i'm guessing and lastly today fs landscaping has started work on a new map the creator of ballon road dairy farm and chipping norton is creating a map based on a real life location in northern ireland they're using the skills that they've learned making other maps and are adding custom models to this map as well the map was actually started
started as a testing ground for the new models that they're using, using it for practice, and it was meant to be private, but the further along they got, the more they wanted to release it. So that is the game plan. So far, FS Lynn has made 10 different houses. Yes, 10 houses. Most of them could be entered as well, and seven sheds for the map, as well as a few custom walls. They have released two videos so far showing off the map on their YouTube page, so make sure you guys go check that out. If you want to see the maps up close and personal. And make sure you like the video or KBot may get up close and personal, and nobody wants that. But what we do want, and no, it's just like every episode of Harm Some News. Links to everything we talked about today can be found in the description, and you can check out the entire video in the form of a news article on farmsomenews.com. Thanks to Yost Monning. Hey, he's going to be in Boston in a few weeks as well. Oh, man. Remember, there's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod's going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something you want to know about, it simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So, make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything you need to know about going on the world farming simulator. Well, guys, that is it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Enjoy the GoHand fam. Make sure that notification bell is on as well. That way, you never miss any farming simulator videos here on the channel. All that said, just hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Hey, what's up, guys? It is DJ. Well, that was awkward.